Today, we're going to try something really different. Hi, I'm Teja Pradeshni, founder for Akashic Center for Healing. And today I have in front of you tarot cards. But this is not going to be like any other pick a card reading. Though I have tarot cards laid out here, the tarot cards here are called the Akashic Tarot. And since I am an Akashic Records reader, my guides have guided me in a dream to reach out to you and give you messages about what's going on in this month of love. So in February 2021, what is your love life going to be like? what is happening um, you know when you pick a card you will be given more details as to what is happening in your love lives and i'm also going to be connecting to the record keepers and guides and they will channel messages through me to give to you but remember one thing these are general readings they're not one-on-one -on -one readings i am just guided to give you information about your love lives uh, for the month of february and to also tell you a few things that the guides, the record keepers want you to know about what's happening in your love life. So I'm going to put a shot of the cards and I want you to pick a card, a pile, a stone, a crystal that is on the card, whatever resonates to you. Pick one of these cards and I'm going to tell you what the card means and the information the record keepers have for you regarding the card that you have picked. Pause the video for a while so that you can just focus, take a deep breath, focus and pick one card that you are drawn to, something that resonates. Maybe the crystal speaks to you, maybe the position of the card speaks to you, whatever it is, pick one Akashic Tarot card I'm going to give you the information of what the card is telling you and what the Akashic guides and record keepers have for you today. Remember, these are general readings. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If it does not make sense, the message that is coming through, I request you to pick another card or wait for my next videos um, regarding the pick a card readings and you can choose one of those readings instead but if it resonates with you just take the message as is and see where it fits in with your life don't try and make the message fit in into your situation right now uh, just take whatever you feel drawn to whatever you feel resonates with you just go with that flow this is the first time that I'm doing something like this. You know, just be kind and try not to judge me too much or too harshly for it. This is something that I have been guided by the guides to give you these messages. I don't know why they just popped in uh, into a dream one night and they just said, hey, you know what? You got to do this. So I'm just following orders, guys. So I'm just the messenger. So don't shoot me. Um, take whatever resonates once again and leave what does not resonate. So let's start with pile number one pile number one you guys have chosen uh, the card with the beautiful hematite crystal um i hope this is focusing and you can see this crystal hematite is a very nice beautiful crystal let's see what the card is this is your card it is seven of forces which has come in the reverse it's about balance and what this card is trying to tell you is that your relationship right now is out of whack. It is out of balance. One of you, either you or your person, whoever is who you are interested in, is giving more and one of you is receiving less. So the balance is not there in this particular relationship. There are issues that are happening. Uh, there are uh, probably legal matters or financial issues or something that is causing you a lot of stress and because of which your relationship is suffering and trust me it's not a nice place to be in um, so this is what the card is trying to tell you that to find balance within yourself so that even if the relationship is not going the way you want it to move forward it does not matter as long as you remain in balance and harmony with yourself and 
what the record keepers and guides are also saying is to focus on your actions pay attention to your actions in this particular relationship though uh, you may be feeling probably angry or frustrated or irritated with your person or the person you're in love with or they may be feeling that way towards you you need to remember that words and actions can cause ripple effects so be very careful especially since it's mercury retrograde we need to be very very careful with our communications so be very careful the way you express yourself the way you communicate what it is that you need out of this relationship um, be careful with the, your actions because actions speak louder than words so if you are feeling unsure about something try and approach it with love and not be aggressive about it try and calm your energies down before you actually speak the words coming out of your mouth uh, the record keepers and guides also want you to know that these things will take time to sort themselves out so if you think that this is the end of the rope this is it you can't do more than this then it is time that you decide for yourself what will give you the most balance in your life being in that relationship or coming out of it because sometimes we do not realize that relationships can become very toxic especially if both the parties are not willing to do the work it takes two people to make a relationship great isn't it so if one of you is giving more than the other there will be imbalance in the relationship and to bring balance back both of you need to work together in order to achieve that so if this is something that resonates with you please take that message um, this is a simple reading and if you want more details about your relationship or how you can rectify it um, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one session with me and we can um, explore more uh, get more information regarding that but right now the record keepers and guides want you to know that you need to bring back balance into your life and that is the only way you will be able to either save the relationship or you know do better for yourself so whatever works for you whatever brings that balance back into your life is important so do whatever you need to do to gain focus to gain clarity in the matter ask for information if you don't know the full amount uh, of whatever is going on in this particular relationship ask for information do your research find out more about the situation that you find yourself in with your person and in that way you will also know how to bring balance back into this relationship there is a lot of love in this relationship for sure but it is out of balance and it needs two people to work things out so sit down with your person talk to them tell them this is how you feel that you need to bring balance back into this relationship and what you can do about it if this message resonates with you please leave a comment below so that i know that this is working for you and i can make more videos regarding the akashic records um, and if you want one-on-one -on -one readings just click on the description and you'll get all the details there how to get in touch with me etc 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 all right i'm going to see you again in my next reading bye bye hello pile number two this is for all of you who have chosen the quartz crystal um, it's a beautiful tumble stone and let's see what your card is all right so you've got the queen of roses can you all see that card is it visible it's a beautiful card isn't it so there is this queen standing in a garden of sorts and she's focused on one rose which is in her hand can you see that well it's a beautiful card and all of you who have picked this card you are in a loving relationship it is such a beautiful blossoming relationship that oh it's so wonderful the energies that are coming through in this relationship are really really special it is a feminine card that does not mean that whoever this card is for it should be a woman it could be a man who's watching this but 
if you have picked this card it is talking about how focused you are on this one person that has your heart and how you want this to develop into a deep meaningful relationship the record keepers and guides want you to know that you are blessed and this connection is also blessed and it is a divine connection and that this connection has the potential to become even deeper and even more meaningful if there has been a difficulty in this connection then now is the time to resolve the issues and a way forward will be shown to you in which you can resolve whatever difficulty that you're facing in a more uh, beautiful and in a more meaningful way so do not fret if you are in a situation ship which is not really going anywhere or if you feel that wow i have this beautiful connection with this person and i want to take it you know further and i don't know what to do about it an opportunity will show up that is what the record keepers and guides are telling you beautiful beautiful phoenixes this card is talking about this love blossoming in case you are not in a relationship this card is talking about someone who has deep uh, feelings for you it could be a friend a relative a co-worker whoever you feel this connection with and you may be wondering if they feel the same way too well the answer is yes they do feel the same way too and you can explore this relationship because it has great potential of becoming a deep and meaningful one the record keepers and guides want you to know that this is a connection that you have been probably waiting for for some time and this is a connection that will allow you to open up your heart energies and let the love flow it is a very beautiful i can't express myself it's just too beautiful this connection so i need you to focus on this person and just express yourself in the best possible way if there has been any sort of misunderstandings or difficulties in this relationship now is the time to sort all of these things out that is what the record keepers and guides are telling you go for it um, you know there is a lot of understanding in this relationship there is a lot of love in this relationship so if you need to sort things out please go ahead and do that these are general readings they are not personal readings so if it does not resonate with you please choose another card but if you want to know more you can always book a session with me a one-on-one -on -one akashic records reading session and you will receive more information um, in a personal reading all right and if this message resonates with you do leave a comment below so that i know what a beautiful relationship you are in and i want all the details so just let me know how these messages are resonating with you and i will do more readings in the future bye bye all right for all of you who've chosen pile number three this is the carnelian uh, crystal tumble stone I hope you can see that. All right. Okay, so let's see what card you have. You have the King of Forces in the reverse. Can you see that card? All right. Okay, my lovely phoenixes, all of those, all of you who've picked pile number three, well, um, the King of Forces in the reverse talks about a person who's very, very stubborn who's very um arrogant angry irritable like he's he has a lot going on in his life and he's not in that space to offer you a meaningful relationship and for those of you who are in a relationship with a person like this or who have uh, a crush on a person like this be forewarned because this relationship may not be how you expect it to be it's going to be difficult it's going to be mm, painful it's going to have a lot of negative vibrations to it because this person is not someone who is vibrating at the level that you are vibrating in so there is a lot of um, disparity of energy and a lot of confusion you are not sure what they feel for you you're not sure um, if they even like you or not you're not sure about a lot of things in this relationship and the record keepers and guides want you to know that you deserve so much more you need 
to be loved the way you are you don't have to change for this person you cannot change this person you can only change yourself that is what the record keepers and guides are telling me right now you need to focus on you beautiful soul you cannot be invested in a relationship where your person is this angry uh, grumpy uh, energy all of the time because you deserve so much love and this person is not in the right space to give you that so if you are interested in somebody who is like that or uh, someone who's not you know clarifying things with you who are not who's not telling you where you stand in his life or her life then uh, trust me this is not for you right now so if you are in a connection like this the record keepers and guides are asking you to kindly move on from it because if this person is meant to be in your life they will find their way back to you but now is not the time uh, for you to be in this situation with them and I'm also hearing them say the 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 phrase right person wrong time so it could be that this person and you have connected on many levels but the timing is not right and that is why you might have to move on from this connection and if this person is destined to be with you he or she will find themselves you know coming back again in the future but for now this person needs a lot of healing and they're not there yet to be in a meaningful uh, relationship with you so i think it's time to let this person go and move on i know it's a very difficult message to hear but that is what um, the record keepers and guides have for pile number three um, if this message resonates with you do let me know in the comments below remember these are general readings they're not personal readings if you want more details regarding your current situation please reach out and let's do a one-on-one -on -one akashic records reading so that you will have more information more clarity more validations to uh, as to what you can do with your situation right now and how you can move forward with it all right um, and if you want me to do more such readings do let me know and i will make more videos for you all right and if you like the video please subscribe to my youtube channel and give me a like so that i know that this is vibing with you guys and i can uh, you know do more of these readings for you all right so that is all i have for pile number three Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number four. For all of you who have chosen this beautiful Labradorite crystal tumble stone, um, I don't think you can see the beautiful blue inside this crystal. Uh, but let's see what your card is. Wow. So you've got the five of keys, which is um, a celebratory card. Uh, it talks about wishes being fulfilled i hope you can uh, see the card Let, uh. all right so there it is uh wishes being fulfilled so like the card says everything is beautiful in your life right now especially in your love life your relationship is blossoming there are a lot of uh fruits and other things on the table There's a, it's a beautiful castle um i think you are planning to move ahead with this connection and probably um uh, you know create a wonderful family life and the record keepers and guides are jumping in and saying go for it because this means all of your wishes are being fulfilled and you have been waiting for this moment for such a long time and now is the time for you to move ahead and you know make sure that all of your wishes get fulfilled and you can you know you, everything that you've asked um uh, is being given to you by the universe that is what this card is all about so this card is asking you to celebrate because your life beautiful phoenixes is abundant everything is in place everything is in order um, whatever difficulties you had in the past are now gone you're moving on to better future or uh, better pastures uh, that is what they're saying to me that you're moving on to a beautiful a greener horizon uh, you are moving into abundance you are um, 
celebrating life because you're in this joyous union with your person and this person makes you so happy that you want to lock them in uh, so you may be talking marriage you may be talking commitment you may be talking engagement you may be talking about moving in together because this is after all in a beautiful house um, the card talks about fulfilling all of your wishes so it could be creating a family together for all for those of you who want to have children I guess now is the time uh, to get going and this is a beautiful card of blessings so you are being constantly blessed by your guides and record keepers not that any of the others are not everyone is being constantly blessed by um, their guides and record keepers but especially now you have done all of the hard work your you know rewards are in front of you and this is the time to reap your rewards is what the record keepers and guides are, are telling you now so this is about celebration maybe you're going to have a wedding in the family maybe you're going to um, celebrate an anniversary or you know you're going to some sort of celebration is in in the near future for you and this is what the card is talking about um, about celebrating yourself and the people in your life so if you've gotten this card please invite me to the party all right <laughs> just kidding but um do do celebrate this love that you have this relationship that you have with this special person and i'm just so happy for you guys um whoever is has picked this card um you are in love you're definitely in love there's a lot of love here there's also a lot of harmony um that is what the record keepers and guides are showing me right now that there's a lot of harmony balance and flow in this relationship and that is the reason you want to take this to the next level and probably create something more beautiful so this is your message for you today um if you want a more detailed reading about your situation about your person about any other questions that you may have you can always have an akashic record personal reading that is a one-on-one -on -one session with me uh, all the details are in the description below you can check them out you can like subscribe to my channel to get more of these readings in the future if this is what resonates with you if the messages have you know resonated with you please do leave a comment below so that i know that this is working and that you know you uh, get more of these videos from me in the near future so let me know how you felt uh, with regards to this reading and if you want me to do more of these videos also let me know and i'm gonna see you again in another video next thursday uh, don't know what my guides are gonna ask me to do next but this is exciting isn't it i just love the way all of this works out and the akashic tarot deck is a beautiful deck um, that gives you a lot of information and if you want me to do more more of such readings for you do let me know these have been very short and sweet and direct to the point but if you want me to go longer or even shorter do let me know about that as well this is very new guys and i'm you know i am just like banking on you for advice and suggestions so just let me know whatever it is that you want i'm gonna deliver all right i'm just here for you so i'll see you again in another video until then i love you guys so so much i'm so grateful that you're in my life and sending out so much of love to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.